Alright, how to make Manjaro KDE Linux look like Windows 7. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is go to our Google Drive link I have set up. Um, it, I created my own custom uh, package here for you guys to download. I'm going to show you how to install it. So you're going to click the download button up there. And just going to give it a minute. I'm going to hit save file and I'm going to go to our downloads now so I'm just going to click X on this alright and we're just going to extract this so we're going to open up with arc extract to our downloads so now we have Windows 7 theme KDE Manjaro um, and this is where it starts so we're going to open up our system settings and go to the appearance and go to global thing we're going to go to application style uh, first things first, we're going to start with Convantum. So, uh, in one of my previous videos, I showed you how to install Convantum for KDE Manjaro. So, you can go watch that. Um, I'll put that in the description below. But essentially, we're going to install this theme. So, we're going to um, open up here with Arc and just go to our downloads and just bring Windows 7 Convantum to our downloads. And then select the Convantum theme folder, and we're going to go find our downloads here. And Windows 7 Convantum, OK. And we're going to install this theme. I already had it installed, so it's going to ask me, do I want to override it? Yes, I do. And then we're going to go over to change uh, slash delete theme, and we're just going to scroll down to Windows 7 Convantum. We're going to use this theme. So now we got that set as our Convantum theme. But we need to set that as our application style. So we're just going to go back to our application style and then set our application style to Convantum. So now it looks a little bit more like Windows 7. We can exit out Convantum here. And we're going to move on to our next thing, which is installing the Plasma style. So we're going to go to our folder here and go to Plasma styles. So in that. And we got this. As you can see, I kind of tell you where the directory is, but I'll show you. We have to install it manually, by the way. So you're going to go to your home, and you want to show the hidden folders. And we're going to go to .local, share, and then we're going to go to Plasma. There you go, Plasma. And then Desktop Theme. And we're just going to copy and paste this folder over here. And we're going to refresh the Plasma style. And now we have Unit 7 Black Glass Edit 2. And there you go, so now the taskbar looks a little bit more like Windows 7. And then we're going to move over to our next thing, which is um, our window decoration. So this one's in a zip file, so we're just going to unzip it. So let's we'll extract to, we can start it to our download, sure. Um, so there we go. So we're going to go to, so we're going to go back to our uh, local area, and then we're going to click share, and then we're going to go to Aurora. And then click themes, and then we're going to copy and paste this folder into there. So now, if we go to window decoration, we have seven black glass edits. So now it's even looking more like Windows 7. All right. I'm going to go back to our folder here, and we're going to start installing the colors, which is fairly simple. We just have to go to, um, I believe we just open, nope, never mind, sorry. We go to colors, and then we uh, install from file, go to our downloads here, go to which color is that, there you go, Windows 7 colors modified, and then there you go, so then apply, now it looks a little bit more like Windows 7, and then we're going to go to our cursors, and this is where we install uh, AeroDrop cursors here. Um, I already have it installed, but you can just hit install from file and then do it from there. Um, but now we're going to go into a little bit more complex territory. We are going to be installing some widgets. Uh, so the first thing we have up here is the Excalibur widget, which is the start menu based off of Sir Lancelot. It's the closest thing I can find to Windows 7 at least. Um, but you can use this. And the way you install widgets uh, locally is to go to add widgets, right click your desktop, 
click add widgets and then get new widgets and install widget from local file and then you're just going to download that from our folder here uh, widgets and then you install our two widgets here uh, volume Windows 7 mixer is this little guy up he down here which will make it your it will add a little volume mixer and it'll make it look like that right there um, but however if installing locally from the widget doesn't work if it doesn't install if it does not work from installing from the widget file you can click download new plasma widgets and then look up the widgets from here you got the Excalibur widget so give it a minute to load there you go, I got Excalibur, the start menu widget, and then you have uh, volume win 7. Here, volume win 7 mixer. You can install that. And that is how you make your KDE desktop for Manjaro to look like Windows 7.